No one likes being in hospital, let alone at Christmas. When I was working at hospital radio, I would always volunteer for the Christmas morning shifts. I think for three reasons. Get out of peeling the spuds. No one else really wanted to do it. And also, it's just such a magical place to be at Christmas morning. It's quiet. There, is, there aren't as many people there as usual. Not quite as many uh, hospital staff. A lot of patients, they can let go home, they will. So it is that slightly end of a party kind of feeling. Hello. Hello. Uh, Paul here from Hospital Radio Way. Just wondered if I could do some requests, if that's all right? Yeah, of course you can. Would you like a song played? Um, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Do you indeed? <laughs> no. No, because you have to work here, yes. When you first walk up to someone who doesn't know what you're there for, and they are used to only really seeing doctors, nurses, radiologists, whatever it might be, I think they suspect I'm going to try and sell them life insurance. Could I have just a, a carol, please? A Christmas carol, so absolutely. We'll find a nice Christmas carol for you. So I think they're quite relieved, actually, to find out, no, I'm just from the hospital radio, just want to play a little song for them. All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, kind of you to say so. Very good, we'll do that. Mariah Carey. Suddenly you can see them mellow, they soften a little bit, and actually they just like the fact they can talk to someone. Silent night. Yeah, has it been? No. no. And yeah, off, offer a song for you to play out for them on the wireless. White Christmas, but we're yeah. thinking of your version. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, Robert. Thank you very much. My Christmas moment is having gathered the requests, playing them out in the radio studio. Kate, this is for you. Remembering the person that you're playing it for as you are playing it. It's all also strangely reminiscent of that very first Christmas. You've got your vulnerable and humble, but also your angels and shepherds. I spent a lot of time in hospital as a child and folks here might be at their physical worst, but they're at their spiritual best, I'm sure. As a Christian, seeing this makes my Christmas.